कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल एंड मेजर इश्यूज ऑफ पंचायत राज पंचायती राज इंस्टीट्यूशन इज अ सिस्टम ऑफ रूरल लोकल सेल्फ गवर्नमेंट इन इंडिया लोकल सेल्फ गवर्नमेंट मैनेजेस लोकल अफेयर्स थ्रू लोकल बॉडीज विच हैव बीन इलेक्टेड बाय द लोकल पीपल पंचायती राज इंस्टीट्यूशंस वेर मेड कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल थ्रू द सेवेंटी थर्ड कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल अमेंडमेंट एक्ट नाइनटीन टू डेवलप democracy at the grassroots level and was also entrusted with the task of rural development in the country panchayati raj institutions has completed more than 26 years of its existence in its present form and structure however there is much to be done to advance and strengthen democracy at the grassroots level salient features of the constitution 73rd and 74th amendments these amendments have added two new parts to the constitution in which part 9th titled panchayat was added by the 73rd amendment and part 9a titled municipalities was added by the 74th amendment the basic units of the democratic system are the gram sabhas and ward committees consisting of all adult members registered as voters a three tier system of panchayats has been made at the village intermediate block taluka mandal and district level except for the states having population less than 20 lakhs the seats at all levels filled by direct elections as per article 243 c2 seats reserved for scheduled caste and scheduled tribes and chairpersons of panchayats at all levels shall also be reserved for scheduled caste and scheduled tribes in proportion to their population One third of the total number of seats reserved for women has been reserved. At the same time, one third of the seats reserved for scheduled caste and scheduled tribes have also been reserved for women. One third of the posts of chairpersons at all levels have been reserved for women. The tenure of these bodies is five years. and the elections for the formation of new bodies have to be completed before the end of the term in case of breach of this rule the election must be held within 6 months the panchayats shall prepare plans for economic development and social justice in respect to the matters transferred by law to various levels of panchayats including those specified in the 11th schedule the 74th amendment provides a district planning committee to consolidate the plans prepared by the panchayats and municipalities budgetary allocation from state governments share of revenue from certain taxes collection and retention of revenue from it central government programs and grants and central finance commission grants are included establish a finance commission in each state to lay down the principles on the basis of which adequate financial resources will be ensured for panchayats and municipalities In the 11th schedule of the constitution 29 functions have been placed within the scope of panchayati raj bodies Panchayati raj at a glance April 24 1993 was an important milestone in the field of panchayati raj in India 
as it was on this day that panchayati raj institutions got constitutional status through the constitution 73rd amendment act 1992 and thus transformed mahatma gandhi's dream of gram swaraj into reality the 73rd amendment act empowers the state government to confer necessary powers and authority to panchayats to function as institutions of self government these powers and rights may be as follows to prepare and execute plans for economic development and social justice in respect of the 29 subjects listed in the 11th schedule of the constitution right of panchayats to levy and collect taxes duties tolls fees etc transfer of taxes duties tolls and fees collected by the states to the panchayats